It was great. Um, we had made the first film and the character, if you've seen the first one, he was done and dusted and, and riddled with bullets. He looked like a piece of Swiss cheese at the end of the film and was, and was dead. Um, the network at Netflix... <laughs> oh, thank you. I love them. <laughs> um, but also there was a fan response when the film came out that was huge. The film was the, the biggest film on Netflix at the time. And then so it was our duty to come back and, and tell the story again in, in a deeper way, in, in a larger way, elevate the action, but um, integrate more emotion in the film. And that was what was really satisfying, was being able to dive into the character's backstory. Um, it wasn't a two-dimensional individual. There were, there were layers to who he was. There was, there was shame and guilt and a, a tortured soul underneath. And we got to discover why that was the case in this in more depth and and I think it resonates with an audience then you know you you could have action which is as big and spectacular as you want but if you don't connect personally with the, the character or empathize with them and you don't emotionally understand where they're coming from it just ends up being noise so the integration of the emotion and the action was really important in this film and and we've you know had such great feedback that, that that's what has um, resonated with an audience no spoilers, but do you have a third sequel coming up? Yeah, yeah maybe, I don't know, but, but like they are doing the third movie, the second movie, just to make money? Because of course this is important, or they are doing just to, this to build the story, you know, yeah. and I think that they are doing this. 